Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. So, it's Tuesday and I'm on live and just in case you missed my Sunday night Facebook Live, I explained that as a kickoff to celebration, I would like to do a live every day this week. So, I'm a little bit later tonight than normal. But, um, oh my lord, I've been so busy all day. Lots of things to do. There's lots of things that go on behind the scenes, and I have a fairly large team of discount shoppers, and I do spend quite a bit of time getting things ready for them, um, making their experience fabulous. So, that's kind of what I was doing today. I was doing videos, and I had a live question and answer this morning with my team, where they get to ask me a bunch of questions, and we go on a Zoom where I can answer them and they can ask more questions if they want. So it's really kind of fun. Then I had to create a video for our weekly update video that I do with my friends Barb and Dina for our teams. We collaborate that way. So I was in charge of that video today and I've got people requesting catalogs. I've got a lot of people who have gotten the Celebration catalog but not the JJ Mini catalog, or they've gotten the JJ Mini catalog, but not the Celebration, or they haven't gotten either. The mail is horrible right now, you guys, so please have patience. Um, if you have not received one or the other, or both, and you should have, if you have placed an order, like a $50 order with me or more in the last, I don't know, six months, 12 months, I don't remember my time frame that I selected to have a mailing done from. But um, if you feel like you should have gotten a catalog, you haven't received it yet, please get in touch with me. When you email me and ask me for catalogs, if you could please include your um, address, that would be so helpful because, like I said, I've got a whole pile of mail going out tomorrow for people who need catalogs. And these are all people that I had um, the catalogs sent directly from Stampin' Up! to them, but bulk mail is very unpredictable especially in a time where our mail system is so crummy. So if you could include your address with your email, your text message, or your private message on Facebook, that would save me a lot of time. Yay! Yeah, um, Diana, you would think that they would send them together, but see, we can select if sometimes, I don't know why, but sometimes maybe demonstrators would only send out a celebration brochure. Because all these catalogs are online, okay, and it depends on where you are in your business as to what you can afford also. Um, a big mailing like what I do is a pretty good chunk of money. Not everybody is at that place where they can do that. So they let us pick and choose, but I really wish they would put them together. I'm not in charge of that. <laughs> so I am going to bring this up um, on my... Uh, this thing iPad <laughs> and get this up here so that when I flip the camera around I will be able to see your messages and I see one of my team members thanking me for the happy mail she got she won our ugly sweater contest that we had at our Christmas party which was a zoom virtual party it was a lot of fun I think everybody really enjoyed it but um, she's thanking me for her gift and I'm like oh that's so sweet right Okay, here we go. I wish I had somebody here who could do this for me. That would be so much easier, like get all this set up and ready to rock and roll. Okay, I see Lisa. Lisa Flynn Meyer is on here, yay! Okay, hang tight, I'm just gonna set that off to the side. So the first thing I wanted to start you off with tonight is mail call. I have so much mail that I wanna share with you, so I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time until we get all caught up because you know I was gone between Christmas and New Year's and um, I accumulated a, quite a bit of mail. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is from Deborah Berenz Wayland and holy cannoli, look at this. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna um, mirror my screen. If we have any goofy things going on, I will put it back. So just bear with me. I wanna make sure everything still looks good here so that you can read stuff. <gasps> This is the arranger wreath with the bright, um, is it called bright joy or something like that? It was in the um, holiday mini catalog. Is that not beautiful? Oh, so pretty, Deborah. Thank you so very much. Um, she says, thank you so much for all the goodies. The die was such a surprise. I am so thankful to have you for a leader and a friend. Thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. I really appreciate that. 
All right, next up. Oh, <laughs> so I'm watching my iPad, and right now I'm doing the kangaroo project. And I'm like, what? I did not bring that out here. Hang on, you guys, because I got the wrong one, and now I don't know how to make it stop. How do you make a thing stop like this? Good Lord. Okay. Hang on. Um, there we go. <laughs> I opened the wrong live. <laughs> it's never a dull moment, is it? Here we go. I think this is the right one. <laughs> it's got the red live in the corner. I know. And then I wonder why you guys can't find my live. It's like, I can't even find my live. <laughs> okay. Um, here we go. Next up. Oh, and by the way, um, oh, never mind. I'm not going to say anything about that. Oh, here's another card made with that bright and bright and joy. I don't remember what it was called. It had the word bright and joy in it. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, and this is from, whoops, Christina Cooper Ryder. Hang on a second here. I got a little, little note in here. Oh, and she put her little strip in there to jazz up that inside a little bit. It says, thank you for all the fun and joy you share with all of us fellow stampers. I've learned a lot from you and have sent hundreds of cards during this pandemic to brighten people's day. You're an inspiration. Keep stamping and smiling. Christina, thank you so much. You are, that is just so sweet. All right, next up, we have this beauty. Isn't that pretty? I love the layout of this card. This is from, oh, look, it's a fun fold. Boop, doo -doo. Yeah, very cool, right? This is from um I can read Peggy. It's super super tiny. Arlene, I think it's is it Arlene? Merry Christmas from your friend. And there's nothing on the envelope here. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't read it. That didn't help. <laughs> Can you guys read that? I don't know what that says. But anyways, I love your card. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You let me know if you watch this who you are. Um, your writing is very tiny. It's very neat, but I still can't read it. Old eyes. Next up, this was a paper pumpkin kit. Is that not beautiful? Yeah. This is from Mary Thiel. She is one of my team members. She says, thanks for helping to keep me saying this year with all your antics, personal stories, and new things to learn all the time. <laughs> Take care of yourself. You deserve the best. Merry Christmas blessings. Mary, thank you so much. Mary is also on my team. And next we have a card from one of my good customers, Heather Wesley. Look at how pretty that is. That is very different for Christmas, isn't it? It's like a stained glass effect. I think that's gorgeous. It says, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Enjoy time with the grandbaby. I will. Did I tell you guys I'm pretty excited because next week on Monday, I get to granny sit all day long for Val. Like, like I get to be the daycare person. I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> so, Haley asked me, she's like, would you be able to take Val all day on Monday? And I'm like, yes. I know, I'm terrible, right? This is from Barbara Fidel. Look at how beautiful that is. Holy man. <gasps> Gorgeous. Yeah. And Barbara sent me a little note in here. Let me see. Thank you for all of your videos and postings, especially during the beginning of COVID. Your laugh and, pos COVID, uh, your laugh and positive attitude touched many people and really helped me through all of the changes that were happening. I know, right? It was kind of crazy and a good distraction. I love all of the tips you share. I'm fairly new stamper and you were, you've helped me a lot. Recently, I was using some dyes and kept dropping one. I'm getting too old to keep crawling under my desk. <laughs> I do that a lot. Today, while I was in the Dollar Tree, I saw a magnetic pickup tool in the auto section. The handle extends from six to 33 inches. It will now have a spot near my work table and will keep me from having to crawl under the desk. Barbara, that sounds like a genius idea. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. Because I crawl under my desk a lot. 
I know one of you guys that's watching me now said you just happened upon a YouTube um, video of mine when you were on YouTube and that was what I was doing as I was crawling out from under my desk and you said to yourself, huh, I need to watch her. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Luba. This is from Luba and I always say her name wrong. Bells, Bellas. And Luba is from Rochester, New York. Look how pretty that is. My goodness. Thank you so much, Luba. This is beautiful. It says, thanks for all your um, great videos, blog, etc. Happy holidays and the best, the very best in 2021. I'm looking forward to a really good year this year. I always look forward to a good year. Next up, we have the Late Night Stamper. This is from Cindy Benward. Look at how pretty that is. Cindy this is beautiful. So what Cindy did here, and I really, I was kind of like, oh, look at that. That's very interesting. We have these um, detailed, uh, uh, I can't remember what they're called. Cindy, are you watching on here? These detailed gold things. And she actually put it under a layer of vellum. And I thought that was so, so pretty, right? Very, very pretty. So Cindy wrote me a little note. And she is also a member of my team, and she says, wow, I'm coming up on two years of my discovery of you and joining your team. I can't say enough how much I've enjoyed and learned from you. Thank you for all that you do. You inspire my creativity. You've kept me sane during this pandemic, and I can't count the number of times you've made me laugh and look inward and say, you've got this, Cindy. You are okay. Thanks, Cindy. Um... She says, have a fantastic Christmas and New Year with your family. It will be so much fun celebrating Val's first Christmas. Can't hardly wait to see your post. It was fun. Next year is going to be funner. <laughs> is that a word? I don't know. It is now. Denise. Denise is my friend that lives here in my area, but then winters in Arizona. And look at this. So I got this card, and I'm like, oh, that is so striking, isn't it? And look at, look at, da, 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 look at all the things happening. Yeah, this is, a, let me get it over here. This is like a little fun foldy type of deal. What? What? I love this. I love the wood paper on here with all the layers. Can you see that all the layers really make this spectacular? So Denise says, Merry Christmas, not coming home this year, staying in the sunshine. And she did, she stayed in Arizona. So. Thank you, Denise. Love your card. And um, I just wanted to let you know, too, Denise, that you mailed this on December 8th. I just got it yesterday. December 8th to yesterday. That's crazy. That's how bad the mail is right now, you guys. If you haven't had any mail problems, just know that you're living in a little bubble. <laughs> and the rest of the country is like in total mail chaos. <laughs> okay, next up. Betty Beckham from Bradenton, Florida. Look at how cute that is with that little Santa on the beach with his surfboard. I love this. Thank you so much, Betty. That is adorable. Oh, hang on. I had something just fall out of here. And it is. It's a little note from Betty. It says, Season's greetings to you and your family. I can't thank you enough for all you've taught me. During COVID in the spring, I was so looked forward to your daily videos. It was the highlight of my day, and I decided to become a discount shopper. She did. <laughs> what fun to be part of your team. Thank you for the blue gems and the voucher, which I bought the paper trimmer. She got a voucher from me and bought a paper trimmer for herself. Um, so love it. Looking forward to a better year. That's a really good way to put it, Betty. <laughs> Looking forward to a better year. And the last one I'm going to share with you tonight is from Rachel Deshant. <gasps> it's super duper cute. Look how pretty that is. I love it. Very, very pretty. It says, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a very blessed New Year from Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. That is really sweet. Rachel is my... Um, Follower from Estes Park, Colorado. Steve and I went there a couple years ago when we did a uh, road trip out west. It was really fun. Estes Park is beautiful. If you've never been there, put it on your bucket list because it's pretty spectacular. Okay, I think that we are ready to turn the camera around. Um, I can now show you the inside of these new catalogs. <laughs> So I'm pretty excited about that because I have almost gotten myself fired so many times by almost cracking that baby open. We're not allowed to do that until the catalog goes live to the public. And today's the day, right? Yay! 
Woohoo! Um, so I will be able to share that with you. And I've got a really fun project to show you tonight. So I'm excited to do that. I am, uh, yeah, Tanya says very, was that Tanya? Very talented women. Yes, Tanya, it is. They are. I, I know, stampers are just, they make beautiful things, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to unmirror my screen. And, by the way, before I forget, don't forget to share this video. I always appreciate you sharing. That helps me grow my business. And don't forget to click on the like button, give me a thumbs up, that helps me out. And then also, um, leave a comment. That will enter you in a door prize drawing. And that reminds me, I do have door prizes. I'm gonna be giving away door prizes for each of my lives during the week. And I have a Boca Dots. Now somebody gave this to me because they found that they had two of them. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this. They already mounted one of them and then realized they had another one. So these are brand new. They've not been used. Well, at least I don't think they have. Anyways, if they have, it doesn't matter. One is new. One may have been used a little bit, but I don't think it was. This is the Boca Dots. And I am going to be sending this to Suzanne Scott. Suzanne left a comment on my Facebook Live last night, and she is the big winner tonight. So make sure you leave a comment here so you get entered in the drawings. I love giving stuff away. All right, let me put this over here in my mail pile. And Suzanne, I have your address, so you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> Lisa says, love this. Thank you, Lisa. And we are ready to turn this around. So if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. There's no throwing up tonight or any other night for that matter. I told you guys when I, um, when I said I was going to go live around 7.30 that I had to go have a little something to eat. And I did. And it was delightful. I had a turkey, half a turkey sandwich. I love the spicy mustard. I never used to like mustard at all. But now I like mustard. Oh, this is crooked. I'm like, why is that not right? And so I had a half a turkey and Swiss cheese sandwich with some spicy mustard and mayonnaise. And that was pretty good for me. But then I threw in some chili cheese Fritos, and then topped it off with an Oreo. So I kind of blew it today. <laughs> I was doing so well. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so tonight I wanted to share with you a kit. This is the You Are Amazing Project Kit, and I, I love bright colors. These are just cheerful. They make me happy. And so... I'm going to go over this kit with you and show you what our kits are all about. Maybe you've never seen one in real life. You've only looked at them in the catalog. And I used to think that I'm a seasoned stamper. I don't need to buy a kit to make some cards. But I love Paper Pumpkin, right? And that's a kit every month. And it's super fun. And I love these kits because they're quick and easy. And sometimes you just need something that isn't real complicated, right? But they're very pretty, and Stampin' Up! does a wonderful job putting together all the elements for these. Let me see. I'm reading my comments here. Yeah, and who is saying that? Sign up. Marilyn Odd is saying, sign up to be a demonstrator, even if you don't have a customer other than yourself. It is. And you can do that, you guys. Sign up to be on my team. And um, you can be part of something bigger. It's so much fun. And even if you can only do it for a little while, you're going to get a 20% discount on all your future orders. And if you have to drop because you can't meet minimums, it's no big deal. You can continue to be my customer. Um, you can join again when it is right for you. And if you have an order around $100, you should be ordering the starter kit and joining my team so that you can um, play with us. That's what we do. We play. I have a team meeting next Tuesday. It's a Zoom meeting. They are so much fun. So anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. So you are amazing. Look at how cute this kit is. First of all, it comes in a really nice cardboard box. So it's very protected. So you're not going to get it all dented and squished or anything. But here is this kit. Here are the directions. Everything is in here. It's got step-by-step -step pictures of exactly what Stampin' Up! wanted you to do with this kit and of course you can do anything you want with it if you are very bilingual it comes in many different languages 
we're gonna stick with the English right here. But right in here, it tells you the additional products that you're going to need. So you'll also find that right here. This kit is $30 and it makes 16 cards, okay? And envelopes, beautiful little envelopes. What you're gonna need is a sentiment set and the You Are Amazing stamp set, of course, is what they would like you to use on here, but you can use anything you want. And then it's telling us that we need Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, and Pretty Peacock Ink, as well as some adhesive, some glue dots, and some dimensionals. Those are the things that are not included in the kit. So if you have some friends, you could have some of your friends, like let's say you're gonna join as a discount shopper. You could have a girls' night out once a month and you could get a kit. Everybody can pay for their own kit and you can host people to, well, not during a pandemic, but you know, it's different all over the all over the country. Do what you can do. But you can have friends come over and you guys can all make these cards with one stamp set and you can have the ink pads, right? This is a really fun way to get together with your friends and just have a nice night. Get some pizza, have some wine, do a kit. They go home with 16 cards. We all need cards. And if you're not sending out cards, hmm, naughty, naughty. Okay. <laughs> so what I decided to do is to show you what this kit looks like. Now, I've already got all except one card put together so that I could share the one card with you. And then I'll show you all of them. Now, I took this to Wyoming with me. When Dina and Barb and I, or Dina and Barb went on a road trip to Wyoming, I took it with me and I put it, put together all the other cards. So how many cards are in here? Um, there are 16. So I put together 12 of them and I have four that I'm going to show you tonight. But look at how pretty these envelopes are, you guys. So we've got envelope, envelope. These are going to be different colors, I think. Half of them are Mango Melody. Maybe they're all Mango Melody. We're gonna find out in a second. Nope, I knew it. And the other half are the Pretty Peacock. So I love that the envelopes are pretty. They're interesting. We're gonna set that aside. Then you have your card bases, okay? So here's a Pretty Peacock card base. I think this is Bermuda Bay, actually. Card base with some foil dots on it. Luba says she is always sending out cards. I know, and I love your cards, Luba. Here's another card base. We've got white uh, mango melody on the back and some flowers on the front. And then I love these little stripes with some grady apple green on the back. Okay, so I'm gonna set that over here. Next thing I'm gonna do is we've got some foil um, scalloped rectangles, okay? We've got a vellum tag or banner. We've got a gold rectangle, a gold banner, a, you know, all these labels. These are fun. Here comes some more. Okay, us. Uh, here's another element. This is die cut. So like, this is really, I'm telling you, these are really easy and ready to rock. Here's another banner. One more left in a circle. I kept all my bits and pieces to show you so that I wouldn't look like I was trying to pull over something over on you. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we are ready. Oh, and don't forget, we got some baker's twine, some striped granny apple green baker's twine. So when I put one of these kits together, I start right here. We're gonna take out our stamp set and, oh look at, I made all of these. This, by the way, is the You Are Amazing stamp set. It goes along with this kit. It is a separate purchase, however. I don't want anybody to think that it's not. We are going to get these out and mount them on the blocks. And I always like to kind of mount everything when I'm working with a kit, especially if I know, not only with a kit, but just with a stamp set in general. I'm gonna start designing with it. I like to mount everything and get it ready to go so that I don't have to mess around while I am. Hang on, I'm gonna grab some box here. Oh, 
while I'm stamping. I can just have every but everything ready. I like to put my word sentiments on straight too. And I'm kind of pretty weird about that, right? It just makes it easier for me to stamp them straight. Let's see, we'll take this one. Oh, and I really, really goofed up the label on this thing, so I have to like, <laughs> I cut it down so I know how to stamp it straight. Yeah, you ever do that? It was like an, oh my Lord, what did I just do moment. And here we go. Oops. <laughs> Let's turn it over on the sticky side, Kelly. Okay, we are ready. Just gonna set these all over here now. I also got out my ink pads, okay? Granny Apple Green, Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, and Pretty Peacock. Oh, and I need to get some dimensionals. Hang on. Just happen to have some right here. Okay. Um, hang on, I like to have a nice clean surface to stamp on for you guys. We'll get it dirty, don't worry. All right, first up, I can see that the striped card, we are going to take this gold foil rectangle, first of all. We're going to add that right here. I can also see that we're using the scalloped rectangle. This is also foil. Beautiful, beautiful color. That's going to go here. We've got, do, 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 not that tag, this vellum tag right here. And that's going to go under this layer. And then we need, there is a gold outline, here we go, right here. This one, we're gonna use that one. Now I'm gonna start tossing all these bits and pieces, okay? Like this that we don't need, but you could certainly like cut this and use it to frame something. So I know we're kind of hoarders like that. <laughs> okay, and I can see that we use pretty peacock ink for this particular card and the hip hip Hooray, three cheers for you. I'm just gonna make sure that this is on here as straight as I can get it on there. Here we go. Now, on one of the cards, I accidentally messed it up because I like, didn't stamp it all the way or something. And if you happen to do that, while the um, back of this piece doesn't have gold foil on it, it's okay. Just turn it over and make it happen again. Again, pretty peacock ink. And there we go. Nice good pressure on there. Yay! I did it! Okay. Then I am going to put all these pieces together. Super simple. And this is what's nice about kits is that it's kind of relaxing for me because there's not a lot to think about. Number one. Number two, it's great for beginners. So if you have somebody you'd like to buy a gift for, this is a great kit as a gift. And you, you know, again, you have to have the stamp set and the ink pads, but you could get together with a friend and do this. And, um, it's great for your beginners, people that are like, oh, I don't know how to do that. Well, don't worry, I'll show you. We can totally do that. Okay, so I think it even tells you how long your baker's twine. Yep, it says cut 24 inches of twine to wrap around the slot, da da da. 24, 15, 17, and 28. So you can cut up all your pieces to go on all your pieces. Me, I'm just going to do some wrapping around here. I'm not that concerned. You usually never ever run out of this stuff. They give you kind of more than you need. So I'm just going to wrap that around here three times and then I'll give it, I'm going to leave some decent ends on it so that my, I'm afraid I'm going to stab myself so that my bow will look nice. Don't stab yourself on national TV. <laughs> yeah. There's 
no bleeding on Kelly's show. Oh, and because this is Baker's Twine, I like to do a knot. And that's going to hold this in place so that I can then tie a bow and it won't loosen up on me and I won't have to fiddle around with it. You know, sometimes you can't do that because your whatever, your ribbon or twine that you're using is a little too thick, but this stuff is nice and thin. That's a perfect reason to... <laughs> Apparently, I'm a little out of practice. That's a perfect reason to tie that knot when it's nice and thin like that. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Peggy says, nice kit. It really is pretty. Like, I was giddy at Barb's house when I was making this. Hang on, because I'm kind of fussy. There we go. Okay, so this is going to go right on here. Now, before I glue anything down, I want to make sure that I have my bow in the right place so that my banner will fit in here and don't forget we need this under there too so let's get this adhered where'd my glue go there it is put this on here for those of you that may have missed my live last night um, we did find the window sheet piece <laughs> that I lost on Sunday night <laughs> it was so insane <laughs> A little bit of glue. You can use um, a tape runner on here too, but I am using glue because I don't know. I just that's my medium. I like glue. Gives me that little bit of wiggle room. And then I think I'm going to put the dimensionals on the back of this label. Yay! And take your pick tool. I had one of my team members on our Q and A today asked me. She goes, she use, tries using her take your pick tool to get the backings off of the dimensionals and it doesn't work for her. And she said she was just stabbing them. You have to poke your tool in at an angle and then lift it up. And that's how you get those on there. And after you do it a few times like that, you'll kind of get a feel for it and then it'll be super easy. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Look at how pretty that is. Go with this envelope or this envelope. I think I like the Mango Melody envelope. Isn't that super cute, you guys? Okay, so that's card number one. Now we're going to go on to card number two. Card number two has this pretty little floral background. We are going to grab our flirty flamingo. We need the Mango Melody little banner. Uh, we're going to use, ooh, we need one of these. Where is that at? Ah, hang on, I got things happening here. Um, here it is. It was upside down. We need one of those. I was like starting to panic, then I'll have a hot flash. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I think I only had one today. <laughs> And here we go. So, Flirty Flamingo and You Are Amazing. Oh, so pretty. And look at the big edge I got on there. I do not like that, okay? So, that's a little bit too much for me. What I'm gonna do is clean this off, not push this into my ink pad so hard. And I'm gonna turn this over and stamp again. And now I don't have the edge. I don't have the um, gold lined piece around here, but so what? Nobody's gonna know that, right? Okay, here we go. This is a really quick and easy one to put together. This little piece goes right on here. I love this foil paper. I think we're gonna add this with some dimensionals. This is a fairly good sized piece. So we'll do that. Take your pick tool. So um, before I went downstairs to grab something to eat before I went live so I wouldn't be like get hangry on you or anything. <laughs> and my husband was in the kitchen watching the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is like one of the stupidest movies of all time, right? And I don't know what his deal was. He must be a little cranky again. <laughs> it's crank season for Steve, let me tell you. Because I started talking to him, and one thing he doesn't seem to, I can't get through his head, is if he's watching something 
and you know I walk into a room I have a few minutes to talk to him before I need to come back up here and one thing that he doesn't seem to understand I'm gonna make this a little bit longer is that he can push pause on the DVR on the remote control push pause and talk to me for five minutes and then you can resume watching your ridiculous movie but instead he like acted like he was annoyed with me. He put his pizza in the oven and he went in the living room and turned on the TV and sat in the recliner. And I looked, cause I can see him in the hallway, there's a mirror and I can see him in the living room. And I was like, are you flipping kidding me? <laughs> it was so funny. I'm like, he just totally blew me right off. <laughs> but I think he was a little annoyed with me. We're starting to get a little crabby here. It's, it's winter time in Wisconsin. I think he was a little annoyed with me because today he told me that the paint on the hood of my Explorer is starting to bubble. And this is a manufacturer's defect with Ford Explorers, like there's a problem with it. And um, the salesman told us when we were there about this problem or we probably would have never known about it. So today he tells me that I, oh, I wrapped that around there and tied it in a bow. <laughs> So today he tells me that I need to call Mitch. He says, you need to call Mitch, your explorer, the um, hood is starting to bubble. You need to call him and see what he's gonna do about it. And I looked at him and I'm like, because you can't call him? Like, the man does not work. I am no longer his personal secretary. Quite frankly, he is mine and he needs to understand how that works. <laughs> Good Lord. So I took a nap today and that was really nice. And oh, by the way, somebody asked me how Anna was and I'm so sorry, that just dawned on me. Anna is not good. Um, they are sending her to some type of a doctor that assesses problems and figures out a plan. And I thought she said they told her to go see a psychiatrist and I was, I was hot. Like, I was livid. Like, how dare you say that she is crazy? I said, what do they think you are, a psychopath? <laughs> and she's like, no, it's not a psychiatrist. It's a something else interest. <laughs> so then I felt better because I, I was ready to go march into somebody's office and tell them what I thought of them. <laughs> so anyway, um, oh, look at it. It moved on me. You guys ever have that happen? Now I gotta try and get this off of here without destroying it. Um, it slid. I didn't let it dry before I set it aside. Brr. Man. But anyways, um, she needs to set up an appointment with that person who's gonna plan some things to, to, to get a game plan for her. But um, yeah, she the, the muscle relaxers are starting to help. They give her muscle relaxers. I don't know if they gave her any painkillers or not. Because they thought she was a psychopath. <laughs> Not really. Yes, Jan says, a physiatrist. That's it. I don't know if that's how you say that, but you guys know I'm totally not medical, right? Um, so anyways, I took a nap today. And um, when I got up is when Steve told me that I needed to... Oh, maybe he told me then that he did call the guy about the Explorer to get isn't that cute yeah very cute um to get the thing replaced and they are they're going to replace it it is a it is a warranty issue or a recall issue so i'm going to get a new sprayed hood on my explorer that's fun yay so another pretty card you guys don't worry i'll bring them all in at the end now we're going to do this one right here so yes, he was a little crabby today because I told him he needed to take care of the Explorer problem. I don't think he liked that. He didn't say anything to me, but he got a little testy, like attitude-y. <laughs> and then I just walked away. I'm like, no, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> oh, and then he hooked up our new modem because remember I thought that my um, internet wasn't working very good. So he hooked up the new modem today. And then I had to spend an hour plus on the phone with AT&T getting it all straightened out because, you know, it never works right. But I think I got it all figured out now. And I figured out how to program our remotes. This is the Mango Melody with the Happy Birthday. And this is a gold foil little thing. 
And look at my mango is dry, you guys. That makes me not happy. Hang on. We are going to, I'm looking for some re-inker. Here it is. And my helper Rachel was here today and she is working on those, making all of those um, calendars that I'm gonna be sending out as thank yous for December orders. So please be, be patient. The other thing I wanted to ask you to be patient about is emails. I'm a little behind on my emails. I am trying every day to catch up. All of this mail problem is really causing havoc for me. So just know that ugh, I'm working on it. Let me get this all smushed in. This really is dry. Like I don't think I've had an ink pad this dry. It must have gotten left open. So I'm just kind of squishing it in there. I don't have that happen hardly ever. But I must have not closed it all the way. Let's see what this is going to look like now. I don't want it to be too inked up, right? Well, that looks better. Hmm. I'm going to try this on the back. Oh, yeah. Look how much brighter that is. So, again, I kind of messed up the front. But I'm going to use the back, and it's fine. It's all going to be okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. We've got this. We're going to use this card base. Somebody just said they had to leave. I didn't see your name as it scrolled up really fast, but um, thank you for watching, and you can catch the rest on YouTube later, so thank you for popping in here. All right, so this gets a little... I'm going to just trim this off down here and hope for the best. I did not measure this, but you probably want to measure this little piece so that you have enough. Because what we're going to do is we're going to oops, wind this around here. Yeah, just like that. I don't know what time I'm going to be live tomorrow. I just want to let you guys know that because I do have one of my team members coming over tomorrow night. She's going to use my office to do some Facebook Live and um, so I don't know what time I'll be doing my Facebook Live. Maybe I'll be able to get it in a little bit earlier tomorrow like late afternoon or I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But just know that it's probably going to be a little different. I love that you guys are not um, losing your mind over how random my Facebook Lives are this week because I just never know what's going to be going on around here. There we go. I got to see Molly today. Molly Jo, um, she got a hoverboard from us for Christmas. I think I told you about that. Um, Steve said, oh my gosh, this thing has broken bones written all over it. And me, I was like, I know, right? It is so cool. <laughs> but she's really good on it. She hasn't broken anything yet, so... Molly and her hoverboard. Okay, so I just wrapped that around there, and you can do whatever you want with this. You don't have to sit and do this, but I think it's a pretty darn cool look. I'm just going to tie this in a bow. Make sure you leave yourself enough room. That's why it's a good idea to measure it, but I, I kind of like to just go with the flow. I think this is a really nifty little idea. go. Okay. Isn't that cute? All right. Now we're going to take this and I am going to attach this to the front of my vellum tag first because I don't want to put glue on the back here where I'm going to see it through the front, right? I think that's like not attractive. So I'm going to put my glue right in the middle on the back of this layer and then I'm going to add it to my tag. What a great way to just layer up some different shapes and elements, right? And then I'm only going to put glue behind the vellum or the um, white layer on the vellum to add it to my card front. Ta da! And then I'm going to do the dimensionals. Right here they are. Boom, 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 and boom. The 
this is going to go right in here. How stinking cute is that? And I think I would put this with a Bermuda Bay envelope. So there is card number three. One more, one more to go. And our last card is right here. So let me get rid of all these bits and pieces that I have completely used up now. We're gonna come with this one. It's a gold foil banner. We've got a Bermuda foil circle. We've got a pretty peacock paper circle here. Um, I'm missing one little element. Oh, I probably didn't get it out of the box. So hang on, let me see if it's still in here. This is a bigger piece. I hope I didn't toss it by accident. Hang on. I did not see it here. Huh. This is not like what we had the other night, right? <laughs> With the missing window sheet. Let me... I don't see it in here. It's not in here. Oh, I hope I didn't like leave it at Barb's. She would have told me. Okay, so I can't finish this card because I lost one of my pieces. So make sure you keep all your pieces together. But I will show you the finished card. It's here. Did I drop it on the floor? I don't see it there. Oh, wait, this isn't it. So here's the finished card. So you would stamp your little thanks banner in the granny apple green and I mounted this on dimensionals. And this is the piece that I'm missing right here, you guys. I don't know what happened to that little piece, but I think I probably misplaced it when I had the kit out. Cause I don't see it here. Anyhow, and then you just put the little circles behind. This is on dimensionals, wrap the twine around there and tie it. And how cute is that, right? Very, very pretty. So let me show you. I'm gonna put these pieces back in here in case I find that little element because it's gotta be here someplace. I'm gonna just set those in there for now. But let's bring all of these beautiful cards in. Because when you put them up like this, it's like, wow, that is so, so cool. Here are these. Here are these. Here's the other one that we just made tonight. Here are, let's see, we got this one. We got this one right here. Here's number four for that one. And then we have all of these cutie patooties. And, oops, the one that we made tonight. Plus all of these envelopes, you guys. This is like the funnest little kit. Now, we have two really, really nice kits in our mini catalog. Besides the You Are Amazing, we have this Hello Dear Friend kit, and this is a beautiful floral kit. It is $32. It actually comes with the stamp set, a little ink spot, and a decorative box. Let's see. The kit includes a printed decorative box. So you get to make 12 cards three each of four designs with this one. So this is a really great kit to mail off to a relative someplace. All they would need is scissors and adhesive. Everything else is in here. You even get the little ink spots. So this is really cool too. Um, these kits are only available while supplies last. These are, I don't think these are on the low inventory list. You know, when we do a pre-order for demonstrators, we already have some of the products in this catalog that are on low inventory. So if you have your heart set on something, please don't wait. I would hate to see you be disappointed and not be able to get it for, you know, till it comes back into stock. I know that I like things now. 
<laughs> I'm like you guys. I want things now. I'm still looking for that other piece. Um, I'll have to ask Barb. Oh, hang on. All my little bits just fell out. Oh, it was in the bottom, you guys. There it is. Okay. So, we're going to put it together. Then we'll have this all done. Here we go. Sorry about that. I'm like, oh. I know I was really careful with it when I was at Barb's house. Here we go. Here is our card base. Here's this little card. And then, did you guys see where my banners went? I just had them. Maybe we're, in, oh, here it is. Whew. We need our Granny Apple Green ink. Got that. We have our thanks here. Hi, Debbie from Tennessee. Kathy Showalter says, I knew it. Okay. Oh, that's not too shabby. I did pretty good with that one. Okay. So, next, what we're going to do we're going to add some dimensionals onto the back of this and I'm going to put three on here I want this nice and sturdy take the backing off boom 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 then I'm going to wrap my twine I kind of threw everything away from what I was working on now <laughs> having a hard time figuring out what I need to do here Okay, so I'm going to leave a nice tail on here so I can tie a bow. But I'm just going to wrap this around here a couple times, maybe three times. Because I do have all my cards put together now, so I can use however much twine I want, right? And have a little bit left over to make something else. So again, I'm going to tie this in a knot. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm going to have 16 cards to send out. So I wanted to put the rest of this kit together for you guys tonight because I am going to a demonstrator event in Oshkosh this weekend. I am a um, guest presenter. I'm going to be doing a business presentation for other demonstrators. And um, the gal who's putting this event on asked me if I had this kit, if I would please assemble it and bring it so she can put it on display at the event and I was like oh this is perfect I will do the rest of this kit up for you guys tonight and that will make sure that I get it done right <laughs> and then I can take it to Oshkosh with me and let her use it as a display so I thought that was pretty cool okay so I'm gonna put my dots right here like this I've got them in place so I'm just gonna add some glue to the back just like that set them back in here so what I'm doing here is I'm kind of trying to keep this one a little bit centered under that twine. And then, oh, I, I thought I was going to lose this. You guys know how I am. <laughs> Pretty good at all the losing stuff. Put this right on here like this. We're going to adhere this to our card base. Love that pretty peacock, right? And the stems on these flowers are Granny Apple Green and Pretty Peacock. So that's where that color comes in and is brought to life here. There we go. Woohoo! Yay! We got that done. Christina's going to be so happy. This is done. All of these are done. So there's a really fun card kit, you guys. This would be a great kit for you to sit and put together with your grandchildren. They would love that or your children, depending on what age they are. Um, now the nice thing about this, see if there's anything else in there, right, is you can take, I would actually count out, uh, let's see, um, I'm going to do just four envelopes here, one, two, oh, there we go, one, two, three, four, you can figure out which colors you want to go with which cards, so I'm going to count out four envelopes. And I'm going to put those in here with four of my cards. And then four more envelopes. One, two, three. Um, here's the fourth one. One, two, three, four. And then I will do the same thing. And, and put these in here really nice. 
And I will probably, after this weekend, give this to my mom as a gift, or I might send them out too. But I love the little box that's with them. Oops. Because this is a nice little gift box, right? Oh, I forgot this one. There we go. And then, last but not least, we have these envelopes and our striped cards. Look at how pretty that is, right? Yeah, and where's the lid? Right here. Boom! <gasps> love it! I absolutely love this. Janet says this is a cute kit, but she ordered the other one. Don't worry, Janet. You can put in another order and as many orders as you need to to make sure that you get all of it. <laughs> That's what I feel like I did this morning. So Stampin' Up! sends out this um, Succeed Weekly publication, which is really fun. They give us ideas using, you know, different products so that we don't have to think so hard, which is wonderful. And that's one of the great benefits of becoming a discount shopper or a demonstrator because you get, you get this stuff too, just like I get it. So one of the cool things that they send out is the Succeed Weekly. And I should show you this. Um, hang on, I'll show you. It, the stamps that I'm talking about coordinates with the celebration paper. So it's called something about blooms. Something about blooms. Let me see if I can find it here. Da -da -da! It's not the pretty perennials. That's Dina's stamp set, but it is in bloom on page 45. Okay, so I ordered Dina's stamp set, the perennial blooms, because of course I'm gonna order Dina's stamp set. I don't even know where it is. It's amazing. But this was the other real floral set with all the little dyes and the little flowers. And I'm like, eh, I don't know if I really need that. But it does coordinate with the celebration paper, right? So it was kind of foolish of me not to get it because of course I'm gonna love it, it with this paper. Um, there's a part in the publication where it says it coordinates with the pretty perennials. That's, that's incorrect, that was a mistake. It actually coordinates with the in bloom. So, Stampin' Up! sent out this thing today with these cute ideas using the In Bloom bundle. And I thought, oh, that would be fun for Facebook Live. But guess what? I never ordered this. So I did order it this morning because that's what I do. Until I own everything in a mini catalog. <laughs> like, it's a bad habit. <laughs> it's a very good habit. I'm not sitting in a bar someplace or gambling my money away at a casino, right? <laughs> so I guess I'm doing okay. But anyways, I just think these kits are really, really cute, and Molly likes to make them too. She'll come over and she's like, you got anything for me to make? And as a matter of fact, I just gave her my um, paper pumpkin kit. I let her put the rest of it together because I put together a few pieces, and then I let her do the rest. So I have to make a video and a blog hop with the paper pumpkin. And Molly enjoys doing the rest of it. i got to rinse these out. They're getting kind of hard. Okay. I'm going to keep all of this together. And I, I'm going to put this in here too. So that I have this for the event this weekend. And I will put all my stamps back together. Or back in the box. Alright you guys. I'm going to flip you around again. Does anybody have any questions? For me that I may have missed. It's kind of hard to stamp and read and do all the things. Yeah, <laughs> who said that? Um, Dawn said she does the same thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> I'm going to try my other glasses. For some reason, these aren't working that good when I'm looking at this. It says, Kelly, can we still order ink pads? I don't see them in the catalog I see online. Um, Chris, yes, you can always still order ink pads, and the ink pads are in the large catalog. And if you go online, you can just type in ink, and all of our ink pads will come up. But if you would like to see, oops, our ink pads are all right here. So these are all of our little color families, and we've got cardstock, and then the ink pad, and then the refill, and then the blends. So cardstock, ink pad, refill. These start on page 142 and 143 is where you're going to find all of those. So great question. That's the annual catalog. 
And also online, there's a little magnifying glass and a blank where you can just choose um, to type in anything you're looking for and you'll get something. So hang on, you guys. Um, I'm going to bring up my iPad because, gosh, that's really small. <laughs> I'm not seeing it so well. Um, Kara says, if I join as a discount shopper, can I still earn celebration items? That is a great question. I'm so glad you're asking. So we as discount shoppers or demonstrators, we get all the same benefits that customers get plus more. So not only do we get the price, the sale prices or the promotions, but we get a 20% minimum, 20% discount on all of that too. So you're asking me if you can still earn celebration. Yes, but when you order the starter kit, you cannot add celebration items to your starter kit. So you get to pick $125 worth any product you want and you pay $99 for it. You are going to get five packs of the new color or the new patterns of our color families of paper six by six you're gonna get all of these plus a paper pumpkin kit plus free shipping and then a discount on future orders so you cannot add in there any celebration items because we're already giving you so much it would be total like triple dipping not even double dipping but triple so I just want to let you know that um Jean said old eyes I don't know, my, my glasses seem kind of funny. I need to go get that figured out. But um, so you can't, while you can't put celebration items in your starter kit order where you're picking out $125 worth of stuff because you're really only paying $99 for it and getting all the other free stuff and benefits. You can place an order once you buy that starter kit and you will qualify for celebration items with orders that are not the starter kit. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, Courtney says, is the box from the kit made from cardstock? Oh, it is not cardstock. It is much, much sturdier than cardstock. It is like a shoe box. It's really sturdy. So, and like I said, it comes in, I wonder if I still have that box here. Oh, no, here it is. It ships in a really nice padded cardboard box, okay? Um, that it came in, so I pulled this right out of here. But no, this is very hard, good, sturdy box. So that was a really good question too. <laughs> Diana, Diana says maybe Steve is cranky because he is alone too much. You work too hard. Well, I know I work a lot, but my husband is kind of antisocial. Um, he does not like people around. He's they're too much talking. He doesn't like that And so we actually fit together pretty good because he spends a lot of time out in the garage all by himself um, He spends a lot of time in the living room now if I would go and sit in the living room with him He would be shushing me. I'm not sure. <laughs> There's Alexa. Alexa be quiet He would be sh what is she getting her nose in my business? <laughs> He would be shushing me and annoyed that I was trying to talk to him. Not even kidding. So while that's a really good thought and it would make a lot of sense, I'm not buying it, Diana. <laughs> so yeah, Steve needs more sun, Hilda says. Yes, you are absolutely right. He does need more sun. He does have that um, winter disorder thing where you get cranky and, and cranky and whatever you're not getting sun. So that's why I try to get him to um, book us on a trip to Florida. Um, I would like to go like next week. I don't know if it's going to happen. We'll see. But um, I want just a little short trip to Florida. And then he said he's not really sure he wants to fly because he doesn't want to wear a mask for eight hours or whatever in all the airports and the things and whatever. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of crappy. I said, well, we could drive, but that, you know, that takes so much time to get there. Jean wants to know what is on low inventory. Jean, just about everything in the mini catalog. So it's pretty much all on low inventory. And um, yeah, sorry. But uh, COVID has really kicked the sales for Stampin' Up! products through the roof. And that is very hard to forecast how many of each thing you need when your sales are astronomically more than usual. 
and and we're dealing with the Chinese New Year. And I, I you guys probably know this, but most crafting stuff comes from China. And um, it's the Chinese New Year, so yeah, all kinds of fun. Irene says I'm right there with you on that. My husband is the same way. I know, right? It's like, so he can never say like, you're not spending enough, he never says you're not spending enough time with me because he's just annoyed by that. <laughs> and that's fine because I don't like cranky. So we're kind of like in the winter. That's why we need to go on trips. <laughs> yeah, um, Gilmore says low inventory galore. Yeah, it is crazy. Oh, and Kathy says, be grateful you still have Steve. I lost my husband in November and I miss and miss his crabbiness. I'm so sorry, Kathy. Yeah, I am grateful. You know, we're always going to complain about little things here and there. But you know, the in the big scheme of things, we are grateful. Um, Jackie says they had a beautiful weather in Florida today. Jackie, I may be coming to visit you. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just looking if there's any more questions. I think I'm going to sign off. I will put some photos on my blog. Also a link to this kit. Um, I don't have any measurements or anything to give you because I just, I just really put the kit together. I didn't do anything extra and it was super fun. So I hope that you enjoyed this and now you can see what is um, included. I'm just going to put all the messages. What is included with this kit and how fun they are and kind of relaxing. I was very like, hmm, let's just make this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jean misses her husband also. It's been four years this week. Yeah, it's rough. I lost my dad a few years ago and um, that was really hard and I still miss him too. I'm, I just looked. I have a, um, a collage picture thing that's sitting right over there on the shelf and I often think you know what would he think of all this if he were still alive like I think he'd be incredibly proud of me so brings back a lot of fond memories um all right I'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much for joining me tonight and I will be back tomorrow sometime I just don't know when it depends on how my day goes and uh Hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Don't forget to share my video. Bye-bye.